Zodiac up! Oh yeah! What I learned from this movie is that you have to be flexible in everything you're doing in life, in projects, especially in film. There's always gonna be something that gets in your way and you need to be open to the idea that there are solutions that are gonna come out of nowhere. I've really taken that to heart when I work on other projects of just knowing like, if one aspect needs more time, you can always figure it out another place, but you do need to be willing to push and prod and figure out where we can save time, where we're gonna lose time and just tell loudly what's going on because someone might be able to help or someone might just be able to say, it's okay. We always find solutions. There was many challenging along the way because the production extended a lot. So we had to adjust and adapt and find teams. And each time we thought, oh, that's, you know, that's a problem. Then we always found a solution, always. Thanks to the teamwork with Paramount, the strengths of our teams at Micros, everybody's, you know, creativity, imagination, we always find solutions. It's always a challenge to fit a design with, as well, animation expectations. So our goal is to make sure that we can fit both. So that's a position that's really interesting for us as a molding and shaper, because we are in close relation to directors, art directors, animation, to provide you know, all the material for them to do their magic. It's a, a kind of opportunity for us to still uh, be with everyone. I was. Uh, Working with so much people during this show, I learned so much from them all, so I'm really grateful for that. Adaptability was exactly was uh, asked from us, and uh, I believe so far we managed to do it. It was easy at times and way more complex at the time, because of course, at some point you really need to finish the movie, so time was pressing us. Donc on a un peu changé notre notre approche des FX, c'est ce qui va se passer sur, sur les prochains films où on va avoir des interactions FX anime et les FX vont être présents très, dès le début de la fabrication de tous les shots à la sortie et out, ce qui n'était pas le cas avant à Micros. Donc ça nous permet d'avoir appris à jouer avec les FX et ça va nous, ça va nous servir. Je pense que j'ai appris beaucoup sur être patient. Uh, I like to, I tend to be very straightforward. Or I like to move things around quickly. Uh, but that's not how you're supposed to, you know, you have to be patient on a lot of things. So I learned that for sure. With the COVID, we had the advantage to learn to work in telework, to juggle with the decalage horaire. We had a little time to start, but after we were really happy that it was fluid and that we arrived. We had some very talented leads. And well, we, we have Anna Kahn that is, uh, and I'm still uh, working with Samuel Devinck also, Samuel Durand, uh, Elise uh, Bernato, that uh, were some very great leads. We were very lucky in that uh, part. The, the leads were exceptional. I really like mangas, which is Japanese. And from that, I discover a bit of Chinese animation as well. But it's mostly 2D. I really like that. Definitely like that. I, I wasn't able to put some of that in my previous work. So this is why Raman, you know, helped us discovering exactly his culture. So it was really nice because when he arrived in Paris, that was a bit of a share. <laughs> you know, he was discovering our culture and he was sharing his as well. So amazing experience with him. Ah, super rencontre, super film, super experience. We have talents, we have people, but we need to make sure that we can bring them on the same direction and uh, to maximize and sublime their work for the show. Merci à toutes les équipes de fabrication, merci à tous les graphistes qui se sont impliqués à 200% sur le projet, c'était vraiment cool. On a passé vraiment un beau moment aussi avec le production designer Christophe et, et Simon aussi. C'était vraiment un, un plaisir de travailler avec eux, donc... Euh, ben, Continuons comme ça, faisant d'autres films comme ça, c'est cool. Mmh.